Hi, my name is Cindy Stoner. I'm Avery Esty. And today our project is on hot and cold. Our hypothesis is how could sh cold showers and hot showers affect your blood pressure and increase your blood pressure and decrease your blood pressure. And what we did for our experiment is every day for two weeks we took a shower, one week hot and one week cold. And every time after we, we took our blood pressure before we took the shower and after we took the shower to see if there were any effects. And we found out that both of us had very different results, but some things were the same. Okay, so for our conclusion, the testing windows for our experiment was two weeks. One week for warm showers and one week for cold. Bef before and after each shower, my partner and I took our blood pressure and logged them. We bo when both of us were done, we made our graphs and compared our data. After we completed with our experiment, we discussed ways to make our project better. And some ways that we thought we could make it better is having the same temperature for each shower and keeping a journal how we feel and like just journal it throughout the week. And then we decided that learning more about effects of hot water and cold showers on people would be beneficial to people in their everyday lives. If not only affects blood pressure, but it can also affect mood and motivation. By doing this experiment, we learned that on big days of school, you should start the day with a cold shower because it seemed to make us more made, more motivated and focus. So this is our presentation, hot and cold. Hi there, I'm Walker Harvard, and this is a five second world project that I did. All right. My hypothesis was that the wet food would get the most bacteria. I dropped, I dropped I got a dry, moist, and wet food. I dropped them on the floor. Or oh. I timed them for three seconds. Seconds. I picked them up on the floor. Then swap it. Then I did the same, but this time I did it for seconds. Seconds. The conclusion was that the bit because for sec got the most bacteria, but it was dropped. Went drop for seven seconds. The risk bacteria transport was the skittle drop for three seconds. The reason why? I have no idea. Hi, my name is Ella Johnson, and for my science fair project, I did soil your undies part two. So my question for my project was how much decomposition on average would take place in two years. Um, my hypothesis was that there would be more decomposition across all sites from this year to last year. My materials for this project was 16 pairs of cotton underwear, eight test locations, a shovel, a ruler, a triple beam balance, Sharpie, water, and four MPK soil test kits. For my methods to uh, do my experiment. I took a beginning mass of the underwear, dug a hole to put my underwear in, and I placed the underwear in making sure there was no dirt inside the underwear. I covered up the underwear, waited four months, dug them back up, um, air dried them, then soaked them, and then air dried them again, and then took a final mass. I also took beginning and um, after soil test kits, tests. Um, from this year to last year, for my results, I found that there was more decomposition across all sites, and to get these results, obviously I carried out my methods. Um, I found that there were more tests that showed adequate or sufficient results. Um, I found that there were still deficient and or depleted tests, but overall they were still higher than what I had found last year. Um, I found that my mom's 
pumpkin patch was the most active soil out of all the soil sites and locations I used. But I did also find that my grandma's pumpkin, pumpkin patch had the most decomposition. My mom's did not. I took an average of my soil test and my decomposition and I combined them together to find my most active soil. In con conclusion, I found that each site had significant, significantly decomposed and the soil tests were higher also. Each site was different, but this could be the reason that each site decomposed differently. I found that there were less depleted and deficient results, which is good to see. This information is important for practical purposes because it can help farmers, um, motive, it can help motivate farmers to dig deeper into their soil health, um, also help them with different crop rotations, and help us better understand the needs of the soil in our area. And these are my pictures that I have and my sources. Thank you. Okay, so for the results, starting with dog one, which is the smaller dog, for the clapping um, noise, she got a time of one minute, eight seconds, point thirty one, And we called their name three times. Um, dog two, which is the larger dog, we uh, she got a minute and four seconds and 37 milliseconds and we also called her name three times. So for the clapping sound effect, um, dog one got 48.50 seconds with um, clapping three times also. And dog two, the larger dog, got 49.11 seconds and we also, and also had clapped three times. And for the kissy lip sound effect, Dog one got 49.60, and Kissy Lips sound effect was used six times. Dog two had a time of 52.56 seconds, and also was used used the sound effect six times. Hi, I'm Nick. I'm Colin Foy. My project's about changing the color of food for cows. You read that? Yeah, I read that. All right. I'm our hypothesis. Um, was that the green would get eaten first. We thought this because the green might have looked fresher than any of the other colors. We uh, mixed up the feed, colored it, fed it to the cow. Our results, um, yellow had the most time, no color in between red and green had the least time. But there were so little amounts, it really. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Shut up. Okay. I'm Carly Selting. I'm Rachel Heisega, and we decided how do different brands of bleach affect hair strands? Our hypothesis was that the Excellence Cream would work the best. And we had seven steps in our method. The first one was cut decent sizes of hair out of a wig or your own head. Two, mix bleach and developer in a cosmetic bowl. Three, tape hair to paper and brush the bleach in evenly. Four, put paper bags over the hair to keep the heat in. Five, while it's processing, wash your containers and your bowls. Six, after 15 minutes, rinse the hair, add the conditioner, and seven, analyze your results. In conclusion, we concluded that the L'Oreal Paris Feria worked the best because it showed the best results. The Colorista had the most damage to the hair. When comparing the three bleach colors, it was difficult to make the difference at first. After waiting for the allotted time slot, it became easier to tell the difference between the three. In the ending result, Feria was our best trial. Polarista had the most damage done to the hair, and Excellent Cream did not do anything at all to the hair. So, Feria was our best Thank you. Hi, I'm Carter Miller. And I'm Kylie Martin. And we did our project on Minute Mold, or we saw which uh, brand of orange juice grew the most amount of mold. Our hypothesis was that Sunny Day would grow the most amount of mold because it has the most amount of sugar, and Tropicana will grow the least amount of mold 
Because it has the least amount of sugar. Um, the steps that we took are over here. Um, we bought all of our supplies, we set it all up, we found a nice environment that would grow mold easily, and then we left our cups of orange juice to um, grow the mold for a set time of two weeks. And we checked on them every couple of days and we have our checks in here um, about how much mold did grow. Our conclusion was that Minute Maid grew the most amount of mold and, and Sunny D grew the least amount of mold. This actually surprised us because we, it's, we hypothesized that Sunny D would grow the most. But it didn't because it's apparently too acidic to grow mold. Thank you. Thank you.